I like shouldn't talk about this probably. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Kenzie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a personal Q&A video. I am filming a ton of videos today, so this video, I have no idea when it's going up. Hopefully it's not too out of date. I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram. As always, my Instagram will be linked down below. It is like 110 degrees. It's Coco. Coco, you're either in here or you're not. Um, I am currently texting Ian to see when Taco Bell happy hour ends. Our in at Taco Bell. It's really the important things in life. So I'm going to be answering some questions. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe. Also check out my Instagram. What are you doing for your 21st? So my 21st birthday is on August 1st. I am so excited. One of my best friends from home, actually like my best friend from home is coming to visit, which will be really good. That'll be really fun. I think I'm probably just going to have a bunch of friends come over to like my house and like host like a pregame and then we'll go out at like midnight or whatever for my 21st. I wanted to like go to Malibu or like get a house somewhere, but it just doesn't work out with scheduling and like with having like Sab come visit and blah, 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 blah. So it's kind of going to be more low key, but I'm excited. It's going to be a good one. Um, if you could date any of your friends, who would it be and why? Um, I wouldn't date any of my friends here. I would date like my hometown friends because I've just known them for like ever. But they're also like family, so it's weird. I have a marriage pact with John, so like that works out for me. But also good old Texas boys and I love them. How do you deal with being homesick, living in LA and having your fam in Texas is long distance and I know it can be tough. It's definitely hard, um, like being away from my family. I find now that every time I go back, it's harder to leave my family. I grew up, my parents were divorced, so I would go like months without seeing them. So, like, I've always been very independent. I've never really, like, relied on being with them, like, physically all the time. But now it sucks that I can't just, like, drive over to, like, my dad's house and stuff. Like, that really, really sucks. Um, I also hate that I'm not there to see my little brother grow up. So I, like, try to go home as much as possible and I talk to them all the time. But it still sucks. Um, but yeah, I really just call them and I make trips home as much as possible. They also come here, too. How many boyfriends have you had? Officially three. Am I forgetting someone? Um, when you're 21, are you planning on drinking? Or do you drink slash when you're 21, are you planning on drinking? I, yeah, I'll be drinking when I'm like of age. Whatever happened to Andrew? I've answered this. I think I answered this in my last personal Q&A. Um, I'm making, we're making like a whole thing about this. I don't know if it's up by now or whatever. If it is, I'll have it linked down below. If not, be ready. Um, I'm gonna like answer it more in that video. So I don't really wanna go into depth. Um, part of it is that we live like an hour from each other in traffic now. Um, but also, we definitely have had our fair share of issues. So, Andrew is definitely the friend that I've had the most issues with, but it is like dramatic. I don't, I don't even know. Watch the videos, you'll understand. But he's been at the house like two, he's the past three days he's been at this house twice, so. Actually, he came three times, so he's been here a ton lately. Do you still talk to Alicia Marie? I'm actually filming under camera right now. Thank you, Alicia. Um, yes, I do. We both have been busy, but we're hanging out next week. What is your driving force in this life? I think I'm kind of in the process of switching. My, I feel like I've been in the process of switching my driving force. Um, I, I just like, okay, like driving force, like I know you don't mean like drive, but like I just have a lot of drive. So I feel like that used to be like my driving force, but I'm trying to not have my driving force be like efficiency and productivity and stuff. Cause it's just like not healthy at the end of the day. Um, I would love to say God, I want it to be, but I'm working on that. Do you miss having a boyfriend or do you love your independence? Personally love e being independent, so I'm fine. Love you. Um, I think sometimes I like miss being in love, but I don't miss my boyfriends that I dated, if that makes sense. Like, I think I miss like the really good parts of like maybe one relationship that I've had, but I don't want, I don't know how to describe this. Like, I definitely love being independent. If I like met someone and they were amazing, like I'm only gonna date someone if they're like the best ever and I can't imagine my life without them. I don't wanna date anyone like, but I'm like, oh yeah, you're fine. You know, like I have to like know that I wanna date this person. But I don't know, I wouldn't say I miss having a boyfriend. I think I miss being in love sometimes, but that's like it. Have you been in love? Yes. Oh, have you ever had feelings for someone you're living with? This one's good. Not while I was living with them. Have you dealt with controversial topics with friends and family? Of 
Oh, absolutely I have, of course. What is like something that you're learning right now? I love when people ask me these questions. I love these questions. I'm reading this book, it's not here though. Um, it's called Present Over Perfect. Anyways, it is so good. If you are someone who like is, if you connect with me in any way on like the productivity and like working really hard and efficiency thing, it is so good because I, like I have all that naturally, but I do not know how to naturally like relax or chill out or whatever. When I say that, it sounds stupid because like obviously people know how to relax, but like I really don't. And you're probably like, oh, what a hard time, whatever. But like it really does just like kill you. Like I was just burnt out all the time, like running from place to place. Like I didn't really know how to like just be present and chill. And also, I don't know, that book is like literally, it's helping me so much. I just finished reading it last night and I'm going to go through and like study it. I also kind of want to make a video about this. Okay, because I feel like I love being, I think it's really equally important to be productive and work really hard and be efficient as it is to like rest. I don't think, I think obviously I'm always trying to find like the middle ground. Um, I never want to be someone who like only rests and is too chill because I love working and I love like doing that stuff. But like, I don't want to be someone who only works and then doesn't have like the love and the connections and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. With this channel, I feel like a lot of it has been focused on like productivity and like girl boss stuff and whatever. And I love that stuff. Um, the reason I've been kind of like holding off on it lately is just because I don't know what that like looks for me. Look, look what? It's like I don't know what that looks like for me right now. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm still like obviously working on stuff, but I'm just trying to like figure out how I really feel about it and like what I really want to talk to you guys about it because I feel bad. I feel like guilty, especially if there's like girls who think that like. You have to work all the time. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's really important and I think it's amazing and I'm still all behind all of that stuff, but I also want to share other ways that I think are equally as important as that. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. Thoughts on your last relationship and how you could have improved it. I think if you're not like fully invested in something, it's not fair. So just like, yeah, I should have, like it's just like I wasn't fully invested I think and I was kind of just trying to do the whole like, well like I'm gonna date people and like see what I like and what I don't like. But like at the end of the day, I feel like that works for some people, but like I kind of do know what I like. Like I think it's important to figure things out. You can also figure that out in friendships too. Um, it's important to like date people and whatever, but like I think I, I just shouldn't have done it. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. Just shouldn't, just shouldn't have done it. What advice would you give someone to get over a heartbreak that isn't from someone? It gets from a situation, experience, as opposed to a person. Um, the biggest advice I can give you to get over things, like I, I, fully and like fake it till you make it. Like I understand that in some senses and I do agree with that in some senses, but also you're never going to get better if you don't like deal with it and cry and heal then. So the sooner you deal with things, probably the better off you are later because things are gonna come back and bite you in the butt if you don't deal with them. Like I figured that out time and time again and I'm still figuring that out. Like I'm not good at this. That's why I'm, that's why I'm like saying that. I should practice what I preach, but it's okay to be upset and it's okay to be sad and like deal with things. I would much rather someone do that or myself do that than just be like, you know, I'm going to be tough and like whatever. Like at the end of the day, like being tough and like getting through something and being really strong when you haven't actually dealt with it is not as courageous to me at least as it is if someone like cries and deals with it and is like, this is where I'm at and then like, you know, gets better from there. What celebs would you be best friends with if you could? Casey Musgraves probably. Any crushes at the moment? I wish like it's just to the point where I'm like I like there's literally no one no one at all thoughts on politics and what's occurring in our country right now <laughs> you know the tweet where it's like I don't know how hard it is to get people to understand that like it's not hard to just care about people that's it which of your parents are you closest to um I've always been like a daddy's girl like growing up I was like super close with my dad but now I'm like equally as close with them I feel like I've also equally been as close with them um yeah, I'm, it's equal. What do you look for in a guy? Um, what do I look for in a guy? <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm single. Um, no, I look for people who are very, like, this is very ironic. If you, like, know the past few people that I've, like, talked to or dated. But I really want someone who is, like, a leader. Outgoing is really important. Um, like, I'm always attracted to, like, not the loudest person obnoxiously in the room, but the person who is kind of, like, Everyone kind of follows, like the leader, like I love that. Also someone who like really cares about people is like empathetic, that's like huge for me. I also think it's really attractive if a guy can like express emotion and talk about emotion and they're not like, 
like I just know so many people who are so closed off and they like won't deal with anything and they won't talk about anything and like that's just not what I want. When's the last time you kissed someone? Pretty recently. What's your favorite TV show slash movie guilty pleasure? My movie guilty pleasure, LOL with Miley Cyrus. Is it LOL or is it LOL? Because they call her LOL, like Lola the movie, but then it's LOL. Like, I don't know. If any of you guys know, I've wondered this my entire life. Please let me know. Movie Guilty Pleasure. I already answered that one. TV. I love Riverdale. And I love Queer Eye. Craziest thing you've ever done? I don't know. I've done a lot. What is the bond that keeps you and Danielle so close? Um, Danielle Carolyn. We are so similar. Like, Danielle is like my best friend but also feels like my like little sister because she's one year younger than me I'm being dramatic but we're just like so 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 similar and we've also like spent so much time together and we've done so many things together and she's just like the best we talk all the time um yeah she's just someone that I can like really count on and rely on that I just like love and we've grown up together doing the same thing she just gets me because we both grew up doing the same thing and like doing like YouTube with school and like just you know you, you grew up doing the same thing We both had like YouTube boyfriends like we just have so much in common So um, yeah, I don't know. We just like live very similar lives kind of tell us a little bit about your internship So um, this is the last question. I haven't really talked about this. I haven't filmed it yet I'm sure I've talked about it on the channel by now, but I am interning for Zoe through our college So there's like I think there's ten interns. I'm pretty sure um, and I'm interning through my college for the church through our college. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Um, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe and I will see you soon.